Alright, how's it going everybody? Welcome to the video tutorial for the Greg Tech 5 Implosion Compressor. I'm running this off of low voltage because that's what it's going, that's what the recipes call for. And it doesn't really need to be, uh, overclocked so the first thing I'm going to put is the energy hatch um, that along with everything here on my hot bars what you're going to need a muffler a maintenance the block itself output and input bus and 20 solid steel machine casings now, the controller takes three advanced circuits, three pieces of obsidian, two aluminum 1X wires, and a solid steel casing. So you're going to need 21 of these in total. Now, if you look at the tooltip, it says that the input, output, energy hatch, maintenance hatch, muffler hatch can go anywhere on the block that it is a 3x3 three three structure, hollow, <coughs> and the controller needs to go front and center. So I'm putting this here, which is going to be the actual center of my block. So I'm going to build around it here. That's going to make the outside And I'm going to have the front right here. So I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to put the output over here on the... Ah, uh, I missed. I'm going to put the output over here on the side. I'm going to put the input right underneath it. The maintenance hatch. We'll go on the back. I always put it right behind my controller when possible. I'm going to put the muffler back here. And then we just fill the rest up with casings. Give it a second. You'll see all of them form which means that it is good to go. You look inside and it is ready to go. Now the main thing you're going to need when running this is industrial TNT, which is made in a, any assembling machine. Just using this one because it's closest. If you are making something like industrial diamonds from your diamond dust, you're going to need 32 of these. Um, same for if you're doing most of the gem dust to actual gems, you'll need anywhere from 16 to 32. Uh, the main one that ever gets done is the industrial diamond because then you can put that in your crafting grid and turn it into a regular diamond. Plus it can be used for almost any diamond recipe as is. Now, if you have Galacticraft in your pack, you can do your Galacticraft stuff in here so you won't have to make a... Um, compressor from Galacticraft and it will only take two industrial diamonds so, or industrial TNT so that's what we're going to test on this first one just to show you how it works and before I do that I need to get my soldering iron here, which is going to need a little bit of a charge job. 
slots. Uh, you can put that in any of your machines, battery slot, or in a battery buffer. And I need this, this, this. And I do believe I need this. Got 10,000, yes it does. And last but not least, we need some soldering alloy fine wire. Wrench, soft hammer, wire cutters, crowbar, hammer, soldering iron. Now we check it out. Oh, I forgot the screwdriver. I never do get that right. One of these days. Grab my plate. Oh, I guess I already grabbed them. So now, no screwdriver. Check the front again. Everything's working. Like with all multi blocks, you got to give it a swat to get it going. Put two of these in here, two of them in there. Here at blast, and there you go, it's all done, and you get a little bit of dark ash back. So, that is the implosion compressor. I hope it I hope this video helps you all. If you have any questions on how to make it or operate it, if you have any further questions, leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it for you. Thanks for watching, everybody.